opportunity that we can't pass up. This isn't an ad about four-wheel drives. It's about knowing the place, as well as the locals. You found the place. That's a good start. Built by my great grandfather. No time to fluff around today? No worries. Just swing into Caltex and pay for fuel with Pay and App to speed on through. Oh yeah, feels good. Use it at your local participating Caltex. I hear Maria Koto Kato Atuite Tamaki, Kiteuru, Waitakere, Kotene Te Fare O Trust Stadium. Uh, this is the Turbo Touch Secondary Schools Champs. Uh, I'm here. My name is Harley Wool, uh, National Events Manager for Touch New Zealand. I've been lucky enough to be involved in this Copa for today out there running around refereeing. And alongside me is a good friend and someone with a whole lot of knowledge about the game of Turbo Touch, but Touch also as well, uh, Yokum Wanahi. E uh, hoa no mai. Welcome to uh, Tene Pai. Uh, we've both enjoyed a bit of running around this morning. What have you seen out there on the course? Yeah, I saw a whole lot of painting coming from me, that's what I saw. <laughs> uh, but they've flown me in here for a specific reason, and that is to be a part of this atmosphere here, and to hopefully take that same kind of atmosphere back to Wellington, where I'm from. Kia ora everyone, my name is Jochen Wanahi, also known as Joe. One of the things that I've seen today, Harley, as you uh, questioned me, is uh, within the level of uh, play uh, for the teams that I referee, um, one thing that stuck out um, compared to the topping, like let's say the open um, and the, yeah, let's say the open um, elite end um, compared to secondary school, is at the open elite end, they're able to do multiple things all at once, like catch the ball. While they're catching the ball, they're able to look down court to see where the ball needs to go, and they're able to like assimilate their feet in such a way that they're not going to be offside. With this end, um, this this uh, caliber of um, players, what I've noticed is that the players are a little bit more simple. Um, they're they're able to do maybe two or three of those things all at once. But that's my observation anyway. No, can't buy. We're treated to. A great match coming up in the mixed grade between, oh sorry, the boys grade between uh, Claypotter College and Forest View High School. Uh, Forest View probably travelling the furthest this morning, all the way from Tokoroa. Uh, Emihia tunei kia koutou, uh, e matakaraki mai nā atui a Tokoroi i nā te raukawa. As we get underway we can see that the first steps have been taken by Claypotter who will uh, be progressing down the court from the left to the right. Unfortunate little uh, drop kua taka te, uh, te, te poro i aia. And we can see Forest View now in position to, to strike and respond. Yeah, and if I can just interject really quickly, our two referees here is Naomi from Auckland, um, and I think, um, just as we have the first touchdown, the other referee is from Whangarei, we've got nine referees 
joining us from Whangarei today, Harley. Yeah, that looks like young Haley. I was fortunate to referee with her earlier this morning. A young referee with a lot of promise and opportunity here. Uh, so these opportunities at this event are not just for the players, but also for our kaiwawawa referees to extend themselves to learn to grow as well. Uh, kia pua wai ai tēnei kēmu. Te pāporokakama. Ara ko tūpe touch. Um, I'm quite hoping. Uh, I'm quite um, happy with the opening sequence at the moment. Uh, very little errors, um, and the attacking team has been given enough opportunities to score touchdowns. Yet the defence uh, is really good at holding up. Um, possible touchdown there. Naomi otherwise says it's a touch. Well, yes, that's right. She's happy with that. Yeah, I can't tell. But uh, we'll continue on. We'll, we'll see how Kaipara progress in this. Uh, having a quick look at that little one-two play there uh, between Forest View High School and as they can continue back down the court uh, looks like the, the call is going to be made Te Whakatawa, Te Kaiwawao uh, He Makatomuru, a late pass there so Kaipara now in position Yeah, unfortunate drop ball there um, now we've got a quick transition turnover touch count one Though we are in the prime spot to score a touchdown uh, with the ball at the moment, it's Forest, Forest View Hill, Forest View School. Notice a lot of the play from the tap just feels a little bit rush. Mm. So if you're coaching on the sideline, you know, the message to the players would be, you know, Kyoto, just slow down, don't have to rush the process. We want to look after the ball and, and treasure it while we've got it. Yeah, and a lot of the responsibility around that is going to be up to the referees as well to allow um, the full two metres and the full two seconds uh, to happen so that the attacker doesn't feel too rushed around that area. Okay, Forrest, you maintain position and we'll look to transition back down to the other end of the field. Kito Rato Paipiro. Kitia Nae Rato. Uh, so they're still looking at Kimiana Ratawi or Ratauhua. Kite Mahinga Tahiana looking to work together to try and find opportunities to score. Yeah, typically in the back end of the court, which you would have um, at the halfway where we've got set up now, um, the next player to receive the ball, typically what you would like um, to have on offense is a strong passer. Um, and the people with good hands, you want them around the um, active zone area. Um, we've got a quick transition and a handover now um, in favour of Forest View. And just like that, mm. it's reversed again. Yeah, Fakofitia Noki Te Tahia to Tima. So, unfortunately, it looks like a foot just went into the uh, Paipiro, into the active zone just before he was able to ground for a try. We can see advantage played here by our Kaiwawao. Kotahi. Uh, pa, so one touch, and they're looking to score. Unfortunately, Awariake not today. Yeah, the defence crushing that um, that play there, really well done too. I like the way the defence here is just not letting any kind of um, hope at all. But um, in saying that, Forest View is just able to find the corners quite easy. Well done. Very tricky play, just a little between the legs flick there. Caught Kaipara off guard. And we can see Kaipara here, Kimiani to so they're looking for spacing. Uh, just caught again offside there. Forest View now in transition. Forest View now shifting the ball, connecting really well as a team. Number four with a hand in there, so we're going to go to a recount for Forest View. Oh no, it looks like the, the call's been reversed, so Kaipara will, will have position now. Hoia no kua taka te pōro Kei a Forest View uh, Te kura tuaro o te waunui a tāne Kei a rātou te, te pōro i te wānei So Forest View again Looking in better position But weren't able to complete that set Kaipara now Kaipara so, still looking for that first touchdown Harley And it's going to come um, with a lot of effort Because this um, Forest View uh, team is just not letting them have any opportunity at all. They're, as soon as they get given the ball, they're on their back like a monkey. Yeah, that's right. You can see Forest View doing a good job of moving into space, 
Uh, Manohi Anoi Tera to Tahasa on the other side. Kaipara just standing still. They want to increase their movement, their agility, and and, and therefore, you know, Kapu away now. Uh, nah, the, those chances will come through for them. Kaipara, yes, the recount on that one. We're back down to zero. Still yet to bring it down to the active zone. Number 10 with the ball. Hopefully he's got the pass to complete it. Goes to the ground and we've got a handover. Looking for a quick transition here. Forest View with the ball. We're going to go downtown. We're looking for a long ball possibly off this one. Or he's going to turn and burn. No, no Maverick today, Harley. <laughs> Paitona uh, Mahi Kayaro. It's a great work there by the defender. The little one-two play. One more touch up their sleeve. And unfortunately, Kuataka. Kimi Tonuanara Taui Titahi Piruano. So still looking for another try and, and on for Kaipara of course still looking for their first oh. Kaipara with a possible touchdown here unfortunately uh, the referee has ruled and rightly so that it's a touch and pass mm. a late pass so we're going back down towards the other end let's see if we can get a bit of swagger on this one here oh unfortunate there just a little drop but it looks like Kaipara it too uh, Muana uh, ite pai piro, so it looks like they might have been offside first. But the referee has given them the advantage, and it looks like they've scored their first uh, first touchdown, their first try of the game. Kitea no mato ite nei pai piro. So having another look at their try, a great uh, way to to kick off the the scoring there for Kai Butter. Forest View looking to respond now. Yeah, very purposeful with that response too, like trying to emphasise the fact that they're in control of the game. And here we go again, look at that good defence, like just not giving them an inch, and they can't afford to either. With 3-1 and, and 8 minutes to go, um, anything can happen. So getting, getting set up early is, I think, really important, because when you're set up early, then you've got a lot of options to work from. And sometimes there's only one option off the pass after the tap, and they're getting a little bit stuck. That goes for both teams at the moment. So, uh, Forest View now. Kei arātou te mana i te wānei. Kei arātou te pōro. Kimi tonu ana i, i ana hoa. <laughs> we have a man down. Halfway on the court. Fortunately, though, the referee has called for a stoppage in play. Uh, she's interrupted the play to notice that she's seen something that she's not too happy with. And so we're going back to Forest Hill with the uh, ball at the moment. We're on the halfway line looking for a touchdown. So an intercept. And of course, if you intercept and catch, uh, the first one is a zero touch. So they'll get one more opportunity here. Engari, auare ake. Kārera tau i whai i te, I te pai piro. Forest View players in motion, unable to connect on that one. Number four with the attempted intercept. Goes to ground. We get a zero count on this one here. Forest View with the ball out halfway. Kotahi pā. Two touches, great defense there from Kaipara. Number 13 thrashing his way down towards the end of the field. We've got an attempted uh, intercept there, goes to ground. Number 13 with the ball again, probably rushed that one a little bit too fast. Forest View with the ball in hand. Hey, ono minute e toi ana. Uh, Kite mutunga o tēnei kimi, so about six minutes remaining. Forest View looking in charge at the moment. Hoi ano, he wāroa. There's still a bit of time left. There is absolutely nothing in this. It's only 3-1. Um, all it takes is 30 seconds to score three touchdowns. Seriously. So, Forest View, if I was the coach, I would be getting them to just rev, um, rev things up a bit more from here on. Get the intensity levels up on the offense as well as the defense because uh, Kaipara is starting to get comfortable now. Uh, look at that full court pressure by Kaipara. Well done. A great touch there. Me hoki anō tātou ki Wanganui te te whiro nei. So moving back to the middle as I 
think uh, he marked the tournament. Uh, te, te Whakatawa, Te Kaiwawa, so a bit of a late pass, with another great intercept and an opportunity here. Hoyano Kwataka, so very close there. And Kaipara a little bit slow to respond on defence, but now their opportunity to try and uh, close the gap. Toruki Tetahi, Whamaniti. Both teams are going to be really careful with those long passes, especially if they've got too much height just makes it too much of a target for the defence to get in there, grab the ball, and then snuff, snuff the opposition's lights out with a touchdown. Just like that, possibly, referee Naomi has called an offside, so it's a handover. Still 3-1 with four minutes to go. Yeah, we've seen that a couple of times. Kaurera, Taui Te Mohi, or Keihe, Tuana, so not quite sure that they're actually standing in the active zone and offside. Forest view now. This is the kind of defense we need. Yeah, Perfect. Choice. Now they've got to capitalize on this. Forest View, um, they're under a lot of pressure at the moment. Could be a possible touchdown. Ooh. Oh. We're here, Tanamahi. So the, the tip wasn't taken correctly. Very fortunate with that one. Could have been a bit too flashy. Getting that ball down slowly uh, could have costed them. However, uh, we've got a game on our hands, Harley. It is now three points to two. Aye, Toruki Te Rua. Oh, Kwataka no Te Poro. Uh, this is done to get a bit intense, Harley. Yeah. Uh, we've got a flick on here and possibly an early touch. I mean, I've got my referee hat on and I would have called it early touch on that one, but the referee is closer. Uh, she likes that one though, Harley. We've got a ball game. It's toru, all. kite toru, that's right. Anyone's game now. Forest View. We're just going to have a look at this one. No, it looks like uh, it was only one pass on that opportunity there, so. Kaipara, Kaiara, Tautemana, Kowai Kahua, Kowai Katohu, Motonu Maete Iwi. Offside advantage called by the referee. We've got one pass at the moment. Kaipara slicing and probing, looking for that touchdown. And it comes in the form of a touchdown in the corner. It is four points to three. We've only got three more minutes left. But that's plenty of time. We still can get another four touchdowns in here. Anything can happen. A gutsy call there by the... Um... Ooh, Tatana. So it looked like they were close to scoring. But of course, as per earlier... Uh, their feet were inside the active zone first. So, Kawarawa e Piro. And a try has been awarded to Kaipara. Faki te faru a minute e toi ana. Great little work there between our two Kaipara players, six and four. And some great pressure now being applied by Kaipara. Both teams starting to feel the pressure of the uh, game at the moment, um, demanding the referee to interject and get involved in some of these calls. However, for the majority, actually for the entire game, the referees have been very consistent in all their calls. I've been quite happy with their calls today, Harley. Yeah, there's not too much time left, and a win is what both teams would want to try and progress on to semi-finals later on this afternoon. Eruanapa. Oh no, we have an offside call. Now is the time to capitalise and score a touchdown. You can't afford to wait to the closing moments in the last 20 seconds to score your touchdown. It has to be now, and then you've just got to lift up that defence and ensure that the opposition doesn't get an edge. Tahi, Ninitie, Toyana, Whakite Fa, Te Tatau. Forest View, a bit casual on this play here. We've got 50 seconds to go. I'm not too sure what they were thinking on that last play. However, the opposition, oh. they come in. Kaipara. Oh, unlucky. Again. Very unfortunate on that one. Yeah, just a little bit too keen, un unaware of where their feet are. They get 30 seconds, what can Look at the defense. Look at yeah. the defense. Look at that. That's a turnover. That's two touchdowns. Uh, that's two touches. Great intensity shown there by Kaipara. Unfortunately, though, I think, yeah, we've got an offside. Great call there by Naomi. 17 seconds to go. Last play. Hahakeara, though, what can they summon? Some magic is what they need. One more pass, and it looks like Forest View. Oh, Taihua. 
Offside is the call again from our Koi Wawo. This will be one of the last plays here as the uh, game closes out. Ai katata mai katangi ano te pere kiamutu te kimu nei offside call from the referee. Oh, I don't think they were aware of what the um, score was no. in that last uh, tap. No, I thought they were going to set up for a little bit of a last launching play, but hoia nora. Whakite Whā Forest View High School, Kaipara College, that's our last grade, boys grade match. Uh, I whai muri mai nei, uh, ka haere ki nga whiringa whaiti, so the finals will follow on soon. We're not quite sure yet who's matching up, but mautori mai e te hui, ka re e roa, ka tai mai nga, uh, nga kimu ano. to take a moment to express my gratitude for the incredible support you provided me with recently. I just want to say thank you for allowing me to go up north and go to our first national tournament for a lot of us to live our first national tournament experience. Also, I would like your funding that helped us get up there. It's helping like, people who might not have been to places that I wanted to go or last year when they to me. Losing or winning doesn't even matter, we're just grateful that we got to go. Mm. So yeah, just on behalf of the people that are a bit too shy to speak right now, just thank you. The game! Maraca, Maraca! Don't put the game! Maraca, Maraca! Grand day, baby! Good day, baby! Okay. <laughs> yes. This isn't about long distance calling, technology, or living overseas. Do I have one more bid? Thank you. We're going to go one. We're going twice. And we are sold to the Kiwi phone bidder from Manchester. <laughs> it's about Bailey's finding buyers that others can't. No time to fluff around today? No worries. Just swing into Caltex and pay for fuel with Pay and App to speed on through. Oh yeah. Feels good. Use it at your local participating Caltex. 